Afternoon, y'all. How y'all doing? Um, today we're gonna talk about something, something a little different. Uh, today Mecha Slash is gonna tell you kids how to be a wizard. And what a wizard is is someone who has yet to have any kind of physical pleasure with another woman since, you know, the day he was born. The only time he's ever seen a vagina is coming out of one. And quite frankly, you gain powers once you reach the age of 30. If you reach the age of 30 and you have not yet to have sex, you become a wizard. Your intellect raises by like a thousand points and you, you're a potential psychic. Actually, on the mutant list, it turns out only uh, versions can become like Phoenix level, you know, Doctor, what was his name? Professor X. Yeah, he was a virgin, You didn't you know? I mean, he's in a wheelchair for a reason. He doesn't want to have sex. And he knew that having that wheelchair and telling girls he couldn't get it up would make it so he could raise his mutant powers to combat Magneto on an equal level. This was genius because it worked. And he was one of the strongest mutants on record. Now, here are the steps of becoming a wizard. First of all, you're not going to want to brush your teeth or wash your face on a daily basis. You're going to want to stay as disgusting as possible because any 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 sign of hygiene drives it just makes them, they just come at you. I mean, it's gonna you have to beat them away with a stick. Not even a wizard stick, just like any stick you can find, but you'll have to do that. And quite frankly, and uh, this is my little sorting hat here. So if you want to be a wizard of Hogwarts, you really have to train hard. You have to make sure all you do is masturbate to porn and never a real girl. And quite frankly, this is a foolproof method I've proven to, proven to work. And something else you're going to have to do. You're going to want to find yourself a waifu. One of these, and it would be pretty nice. You need to find yourself a nice waifu to keep you away from reality as much as possible. Doing so will entail that all your hobbies that are like circulate around your waifu will maximize and become even more part of your life. Not only a hobby, but a way of life for you. And doing so will make, you, make your chances of becoming a wizard even higher. It's a rough road, gentlemen, but I know you can do it if you really put your mind to it. I'll never do it, but I know the steps of becoming a wizard. Ah. Something else you want to do. You're going to want to cosplay a lot. Not just Halloween or anime cons, but in general, you're just, you're just cosplay like every day. And when you walk around, you, wanna, you might want to like try and buy like a, the, you know, from Adventure Time, you might, you might want to buy a fin hat. And wear it in public. Or even if you prefer Naruto, you could wear the pussy deflector, aka the headbands, the like Kanoha headbands, on your forehead. Studies have shown that wearing this, you will get no bitches, and quite frankly, it'll raise your chances of becoming a wizard. And doing so will entail that you will be higher than humanity. You will be a wizard. You will be able to levitate. All you'll be able to do all these things if you just sacrifice the sex. Because it only takes one time. It only takes once. It only takes once, gentlemen. It only takes, girls and boys, boys and girls, it only takes one it only takes one time for you to lose your wizard powers. Once you have sex once, you're done. You can be a total badass, whatever you want, an athlete, blah 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 blah, but you'll never be a wizard. You'll never be a wizard. You will never be a wizard. Another thing you want to do is you might want to like go out in public as as small as possible. Don't make going outside a hobby. Or a way of life. You have to stay inside. Make it so whenever you walk outside, the sun just burns your cornea. You can't go outside as much as you would like to. Isolate yourself as much as possible. This is for the sake of the human race. We need wizards. Without wizards, we're lost. We're forever lost. And quite frankly, you'll need, everyone needs a waifu. I know people say they can do it without waifus. You can't do it without a waifu because you need a partner. A partner, there's no strong wizard without a strong waifu. And that will entail that, quite frankly, you'll... Be ready for the big games, the big leagues. So if you just want to find yourself a, a nice tablet, a dirty one perhaps, you know, with nothing but 2D girls, half naked, big boob, you know. You'll, you'll want to find something like, you know, this tablet here, you know, just find whatever you can find. And you'll try, you want to watch as many harms as possible and picture yourself as the main character. Doing so will entail that you are also, you are like closer to wizarddom. We, no shonens either, because that'll just encourage you to try and be a man. You can't, you can't have that. You can't have that. But what you will want is nothing but harms and fan service, anime and manga. Doing so will entail that you will project yourself into that man character to try to act like him. You will creep everyone the fuck out, and it will entail that girls will not come after you. Studies have shown that this is foolproof. You'll also 
like I said, cosplay as much as possible because cosplaying ensures that you'll you, nobody will come around you. You'll want to walk around with a sword, not even a like real one, not even a wooden sword, but a styrofoam sword. Walk around with a styrofoam sword, and you will get a guaranteed results. You will not have sex. And also, what you want to do is make sure you follow all the rules as well, like. No jaywalking, nothing like that. With a styrofoam sword on your back, you walk around seriously like you're ready to kick some ass. You, you're, you're also training for wizardom doing this. Don't think it's a joke. It's not a joke. What you're doing here is you're making sure that you project your power level to maximum potential. And this is good because power level is shown to reduce itself as soon as one enters a vagina. But you can't have that happen if you want to be a wizard. Because I told you, it only takes one time. It only takes one time to do this. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't even look near the vagina. Don't even look at cleavage, nothing. 2D for life is what you want. You want to be a wizard. And what else is there? I know there was something. You want to bitch on the internet as much as possible. And not vocally, not showing your face like a man. What you want to do is start up threads on forums all over worldwide and complain about well-like things. Complain about well-like things to you. You just can't type anymore. You also want to do that as much as possible. This will ensure your version points go up by 610. 610 accurately. You will, it'll just increase tenfold. You will have no idea how much this will help your wizard training. I might make another video on this for you, those wizards who still don't get it. But this is how you become a wizard. I'll never do it, but I know the ways of the wizard. If I were to be a wizard, I would be the most powerful wizard ever seen on the planet Earth. But I'll never, I'll never do that shit. But if you want to be a wizard, follow these guidelines. I'll put more guidelines in my descriptions if you want, if you want it. But if this is how you want to live your life, I will help you become a wizard. A full-fledged wizard. A full-fledged Hogwarts wizard. <laughs>